In 1912, cars had become more popular in Salt Lake City than ever. That's when Police Chief B.F. Grant appointed 24-year-old Lester Wire to be the head of the first traffic squad in Salt Lake City. In this new and seemingly lawless frontier of the automobile, the police department was desperate for safer alternatives to having officers standing in the middle of increasingly busy intersections to direct traffic. So Wire designed what is believed to be the world's first electric traffic signal. This signal was mounted on a tall pole placed in the middle of the intersection and connected to the same wires the trolleys used. An officer would operate the light with a two-way switch from the corner. At first, the street sign was looked at as a joke. People called it Wire's Pigeon House since it looked so much like a birdhouse. Lester ended up leaving the traffic squad to serve in World War I, and when he returned, he worked as a detective until his retirement in 1946. Wire was never able to patent the stoplight, so he was never able to profit from it, though inventing it himself. The original stoplight itself no longer exists. A replica stands today in the lobby of the Utah Department of Transportation.